Hello, this is Blue Star, defender of Equestria, and this is the premiere of season five. Yes, at long last, something good on television. Yes, <laughs> at this time, all systems are go. So, but I, I am concerned that my video capture program will crash. And I don't want it to crash because that would be bad. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh dear, so anyway, so we're just gonna wait a few more minutes for the uh, episode to start. Should OBP oh, just a few more minutes, I tell you, just hang in there. <laughs> yeah, so mm, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in uh, season five, because certainly a lot happened during season four, and things are definitely not the same as they were during, you know, season three, and in general. So, um... <laughs> It's just going to be interesting to see what uh, they where they intend to go. <laughs> and right now I'm watching, I'm not listening to it because I turned the volume down, but it's like, <laughs> it's the old ver the old generation or sort of the reincarnation of the old generation of MOP. Yeah, definitely glad the show didn't stay in that direction. And I'm glad that it went in a different direction, to be honest. But <laughs> uh, maybe if I feel the need to be horrified or something, maybe I'll go and watch some of the previous generations or something. But uh, no, I currently like the, the nice, the, the, gener the current generation. <laughs> so, uh, dear, oh dear. <laughs> Uh, yes, hopefully one more minute. Just one more minute to go, I tell you. <laughs> All right. So. Five, four, three, two, one. Start. Yes. <laughs> ah, uh, of course, the castle. That wasn't a big surprise. Ah, uh, we've seen that shop before. Oh, we really have seen that shop before. <sighs> Sleep on the job again, eh? Oh, I know the feeling. Let's go through this one more time. <sighs> we've been over it like a million times, Twilight. Oh, we found all six keys, defeated T-Rex, and got this sweet castle. End of story. Yes, oh, but bummer. why? I don't know, Sugar why? King. Maybe it's just your new house, and there ain't nothing more to it than that. <laughs> I must say, speaking strictly on aesthetics, there really doesn't need to be more to it. It's all simply divine. Oh, Rarity's happy. I Twilight, and Rarity, and Applejack, and Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie. Oh, and probably Spike. No, <sighs> well, he's currently As unconscious. Princess, I've been chosen to spread the magic of friendship across Equestria. So why would the Tree of Harmony want us to sit in a castle in Ponyville? It doesn't mm. make any sense. Good thought. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, I'm gonna assume this is the first time they've done that. Ooh. Nice! Uh-oh. Uh. Um, what just happened? Ooh. Um. Is that new? I like it. <laughs> is that new? I speaking of what's new, I'm sure the my opening will be at least slightly pony, different. My little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. Until you all shared its magic Yay. with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing fun. Hmm, let's go show the, the window. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Goody, all systems running. Everything appears to be functioning normally. Yes! So, you know. <laughs> so, um, and for those who are new to my channel in this format, these are basically the commercials because I'm doing this in my quote unquote live format. I'm watching the show as it's airing right now and doing it and doing my reaction video while it's live. <laughs> which I think is kind of cool. If I had a way of live streaming this, I'd be able to live stream it while the actual show was on, which is kind of cool. Uh, and not to mention, I just hate doing editing. <laughs> Particularly because my goal is I want to get these out as fast as possible and be one of the uh, first people to get it done. So anyway, um, but I do have to say it is really difficult to uh, ignore these big commercials on this uh, big screen. <laughs> right, there we go. So, <laughs> so, so far, um, hmm. <laughs> my first thoughts on uh, this, um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's sort of like... <laughs> 
it's sort of interesting. It's like, is this almost a jab at sort of the, not necessarily a jab, but, you know, it's just a comment on the analyst communities that, you know what, it's like, it's like that line is like, well, maybe this is just your new house and that's just it. You know what? They could be right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's fun going into headcanon territory and analyzing things, but at some uh, at some point, it's sort of like, yeah, I know why, you know, the these things are. It's like, uh, my Pony once did, it was a video that was mostly for fun about, you know, why is there, you know, like, like two-thirds female characters and only one-third male characters? Well, and everybody did these, you know, a lot of crazy things about it, including myself and everything. Um, but the short answer is, it's a show for six-year-old girls. Who would you put in the background? <laughs> but anyway, oh, we back already? Oh, that was cool. So anyway, we're gonna find out what happened. Cool. <laughs> it's a giant holographic map without this holograms. This is incredible. It's got all the Questria. Hi, cool. Mom and Dad. Oh. <gasps> Goodbye, Mom and Dad. Hmm. <laughs> Cutie marks are glowing. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Uh-oh. I have a funny feeling that's where they have to go next. But if this is Ponyville, the cutie there map. Are cutie marks over there. Uh, by Megan McCarthy. No, but it seems like the map wants us to find out. Hmm. The tree, the chest, this castle, and now the map. How can we not follow it? Hmm. Good you point. Know what? There's a ton of room for dangerous adventure along that route. <laughs> Count me in. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. I reckon you're right. Well, I was planning on organizing my baking sheets, but okay! <laughs> <gasps> Very well. Come on, Fluttershy. Um, maybe I'll just stay here with Spike. Aww. Awesome! Me and Big Mac what? had a huge weekend ahead of us talking hoofball and, and trading hoofball cards and oh. arguing about hoofball. <laughs> <laughs> on second thought, maybe I'd better go with them. In case they need me. Okay. Looks like it's time for a road trip. <laughs> Yay, road trip. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> but he's got a hawk fetlock rookie card. I plan to sweet talk right into these hot little claws. Hmm. It's like a never, never episode where you don't get to participate, Spike. <laughs> hmm. That was interesting looking. Uh oh. <laughs> Run, Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, end of the line, literally. Woo, that was close. <laughs> mm, oh dear. Ah, what's over the hill? Um. That's it. That's the place on the map. Right. Let's get down there and find the spa. <laughs> spa. Wait. We don't know why the map sent us here. We shouldn't just walk right in. It could be dangerous. Hmm. Yes! Yes! Stay behind me, every pony! I'm on it. Uh oh. Careful, Pinky! <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what have you turned out like secret agent? Pinky is flat. No! <laughs> Come on. This is where the map sent us. It looks like the most boring place in Equestria. That's Careful. just an ordinary village full of ordinary pony folk. Hmm. You could certainly use a few more architectural flourishes. Or any architectural flourishes. Aww. I think it's lovely. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I know smiles. And those smiles, they're just not right. Yeah, Forget there's something the smiles. odd. Look at the cutie marks. Peoples? They're all the same. Yeah, I'd say so. No, you can't. No, you can't cut now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no. I hate it when people do that. It's like, no, you can't cut now. <laughs> it's like, hmm. It's interesting with the commercials. The commercials are unusual so far. It's like, hmm. <laughs> but, oh, well, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> um, anyway, um. Hmm, interesting. Quite a few things uh, interesting going on. Oh yeah, we'll have to say that. Yeah, I'm still. I'm. I've. I. I was exposed. I'm not feeling so good, but I'm definitely doing a lot better. But I still got this kind of. 
cough thing going on, so... Uh, so, yeah, I will try to uh, <laughs> cough over there and not to the microphone when possible, but, oh, dear. But anyway, um... Hmm, interesting, interesting, okay. <laughs> First of all, the cutie map. Hmm, interesting, okay, um... <laughs> And it must have been, in general, it's like, I've always liked to think of the Tree of Harmony, quote-unquote, guiding the main six and everything along somehow. It's sort of like, there, there's a bigger picture going on with the, the Tree of Harmony. And I almost have to say that this is sort of affirming that a little bit, because there's clearly something more. The Tree of Harmony is not is more than just this thing that, that grew the elements of harmony. There's definitely more going on with it there. There is a plan. Or at least there appears to be. <laughs> but... Who knows? But anyway, um, hmm, because <laughs> yeah, they literally have this map. It's like, okay, go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you why you should go there, but go there. Okay, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> but okay, that's a uh, interesting thing. Um, yeah, this town is kind of interesting in itself. Um. Hmm. I was, but first, like, kind of reminds me of Ponyville at first. Like, you know, it's like, who cares? I mean, they're like scoffing at this town. You gotta remember that Ponyville was kind of this way to begin with. It's this town in the middle of nowhere that no one really cared about. I mean, its design is a little bit more interesting than theirs, but it's it's not like Manhattan or, you know, a big city or Cantor lot. It's this tiny little town that probably most ponies have never even heard of. <laughs> So, it's like, you're a fine one to talk, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> and maybe that's something in itself. Maybe, sort of continuing from season four, it's like, maybe they're they're here to teach them something. I also, I also want to think is that almost all of the season, I mean, all of the season openers have always had some sort of big danger and everything, and they're sort of implying that. But I have a funny feeling that may not be the case here, that maybe there'll be something else going on here that maybe there won't be a new super villain that's gonna like threaten all of equestria like it's always been maybe there'll there'll be something else but who knows and but it'll probably be awesome but the the scenes, so. look at the all-new season of my little pony friendship is magic is you're a part of me all of you and there's no doubt you're a part of my mission to spread friendship too Oh, that's my little nice. friendship is magic obviously is about friendship and the, the power of friendship oh, so season five is going to really delve uh, more into and what it means to be friends and get, how friendship get. can impact those around you i think one of the big themes for this season is using the talents that you've oh. been given to make the world a better place I don't know we'll if I see watch Matt this. calling our girls across Equestria. Why are our cutie marks over there? The coolest thing about working on My Little Pony is how expansive the universe is. There is a fantasy element to it. There is an adventure element to it, and we're not afraid to get the girls into some trouble that that puts them in some tight spots. No kidding. Be ready to fight. We don't know what's gonna come through that door. Oh, yeah. My Little Pony: Friendship Is Magic, two-part season premiere, continues next Yay. only on Discovery Family. Mm, I now can't back to decide Discovery if I should. Watch those or not. Oh, no. I hate spoilers. I hate spoilers. I'm trying to do my best to avoid them, but uh, they keep fighting me. The same cutie mark? How can that be? I don't I know. there's some sort of horrific monster behind it. What makes you say that? Because fighting a horrific monster would be super awesome. <laughs> I reckon we ought to just head into town and talk to some locals. Find out what's going on. Hmm. Great idea, AJ. Let's go. Those smiles are bad news. Oh dear. Welcome. 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 They're creepy. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I've never. This welcome has never been so creepy before. Pleasant place in Equestria. Yeah. Welcome. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Map. <laughs> welcome. Pardon my forwardness, but are you an alicorn? <laughs> that there's the princess of friendship. Well, you've certainly come to the right place for friendship. What brings you to town? We're to get away not from me. entirely sure. I see. Well, all are welcome here in our little village. Well, that's My nice. name is Double Diamond, and this is Party Favor. Howdy, hmm. Double Diamond. Interesting. I'm Applejack, and this year's Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> and you all have your own unique cutie marks. Hey. If you don't mind. Has there been any sort of trouble here lately? Trouble? What trouble? Trouble? Why, I don't think we've ever had trouble in our little village. Sure. It's true. You'll see. Hm. Perhaps mm. you'd care to speak to our founder, Starlight Glimmer. 
Hmm. I wish every pony in Equestria was as friendly as these ponies are. Somehow get the feeling I'm supposed to know who that is. <laughs> Something's rotten in whatever the name of this village is that we're in right now. <laughs> Starlight, we have some new visitors. Be ready to fight. We don't know what's gonna come through that door. Okay, I'm ready now. Welcome. Oh. Hi there. I'm so pleased to have you here. Oh, oh I wanted to be a monster. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Twilight Sparkle. Forgive my bluntness, but I'm assuming it's Princess Twilight Sparkle? We don't get many Alcorns around here. Hmm. Yes, but Twilight is fine. So, how did you hear of our little village? It's kind of a long story. Let's just say we found it on a map. Technically, it's a tree chest castle map. Okay. Well, however you found us, we're happy to have you. We're happy to have any pony who wants to experience true friendship for the first time. Say what? Oh, indeed. That's what's so unique about our village, you see. Around here, we don't flaunt our special talents because we don't have any special talents to flaunt. Bummer. Is that why you all have those cutie marks? Perhaps it would be easier to understand if I gave you a tour of the village. <laughs> okay. Would you start off by telling us the name of this place? Heads high, ponies. Uh -oh. Marching proud. All together now, every one of you. Yay. <laughs> Life is so grand in our town. We're always filled with cheer. We never have to look around to know that we're all here. In our town, in our town, we don't have to wait to find out that our destiny is just to emulate. Let's see those big Bummer. happy smiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh darn, that was aimed right at Rainbow Dash. Oh, it's like, what do I do? We're all equal here. No one is superior, and no one shakes in fear. In our town, in our town, we work as a team. That's nice. Bummer. Other ponies argue. Do you ever wonder why? When you think your talent's special, hmm. you don't see eye to eye. Oh dear. There's just too many differences that lead to disarray. But when you learn to act as one, it's like a holiday. In our town, in our town, we don't complicate. Get it now. Equality, the equal sign. Cunning. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Ooh. Give up our cutie marks? No way! Never! Dash, don't be so rude. Yeah. I don't think we should judge them. They yes. all seem perfectly happy with their choice. Mm. Don't believe their smiles, Fluttershy. Mm. I'm sorry. I guess we're just a little confused by all of this. We have no judgments here in our village. Each of us was confused once as well. Blinded by the false promise of our cutie marks. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is she for real? Uh, when we dash. were sent to this village, we assumed it was to help in some way. But, well, it doesn't seem like you need any help. I guess not. Have you considered, perhaps, that you might have been sent here so we could help you? Uh, maybe, After but all, I don't think so. No pony has ever come to our village and wanted to leave. Why should you uh -oh. be any different? 
But that is entirely your choice. Please, enjoy our little corner of Equestria. We're all quite fond of it. No doubt you will be as well. Double Diamond, please help our guests with whatever they might need. Of course. Hmm. Sense trouble. Well, this will certainly provide a boost to our little community. When the rest of Equestria sees that a princess gave up her cutie mark to join us, they'll finally understand what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ooh. Okay, for starters, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Um, I have not been, I can't decide what to do about these, um, behind the scenes things, so, um, for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that one in, but I'm gonna blot the other ones out, I'm gonna, like, no, oh, I don't wanna see, I don't wanna see, because <laughs> I hate spoilers, I hate spoilers, gosh darn you, it's like, ugh, it's like, could you do this after the, the episode airs? <laughs> Oh, it's like another like three minutes and I would have <laughs> Oh, it's I have a saying you only get to see a show once so make it count so I'm gonna yeah So uh, so if you want me to keep those in I don't even know if they're gonna be on all the episodes or just this one But whatever if you want me to keep those in I'll keep them otherwise. I'm gonna blot those out um, In the future and everything and try to pretend they're not there because I, I want to like maybe I'll watch the later or something and everything but ah uh... <laughs> Uh, gotta say, it's no fun being told what the story's gonna be about before you actually see the story. It's like, I'll just watch the story and then I'll know. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, um, oh dear, <laughs> oh dear, um, <laughs> oh dear, this is, uh, definitely surprising, um, uh, oh no, I, oh dear, I think I'm gonna, just gonna say this, this is like, this is my, oh. Oh, I'm gonna get. I might get into trouble. This. This sounds like a lot like communism. It's like we're all equal. Everyone's fair. No one's special. And everything. It's like, oh dear. It was unfortunately my first thoughts on that. Oh, mm, oh dear. I think I'm just gonna leave that one there. Um. Oh darn. I forgot the name of the the, the villain pony. I don't think she's a true villain pony. Oh uh, no, another one. I think. Uh yes. It's like I hate. Probos, it's, it's like, oh, dang it. Oh, well, anyway, so I'm gonna, uh, can't look, can't look. Um, so yeah, I think that she is probably, you know, she's the villain, but I don't think she's a villain villain. I think she just, um, she just disagrees with everybody and they wants to make everyone agree with Welcome. her. Is probably with her. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> a cutie mark is a representation of a pony's unique talents and skills. Hmm. How is it possible? <gasps> what in the name of Equestria is that? Welcome! Care to sample some local fashion? We've got cloaks this month! <laughs> <laughs> the horror! Oh, oh, uh, perhaps uh, another time, good sir. Thank you. <laughs> Are they supposed to look beaten up? <laughs> no wonder no ponies wearing anything! Really, girls, they may do things a bit differently than we're used to, but that's no reason to be rude. Hmm. No, the reason to be rude is that they all keep staring at us. Yeah, that might be something to be Need about. something? Uh, no. No, we're good. We're good. Thank you. Fluttershy's right. If we're going to get to the bottom of why the map sent us here, we'll need the help of these ponies. I think we ran off to the end of Equestria before we even knew what that map was. If we were at the end of Equestria, we'd be sitting on a big A. <laughs> get it? Oh, please, Miss Pie. This is hard oh, time it. for jokes. We've come all this way, and for what? Maybe wow. you're right. But we're here now, and it sure feels like something's wrong. Hmm. That and two bits will get you a cup of cider. Is this a bad time? We shouldn't be bickering like this in front of our new friends. Really, Applejack, you're almost as bad as Rainbow Dash. Don't drag me into this. Um, is your friendship ending? No. Are you crazy? We'd never let a disagreement get in the way of food! Okay, well, my name is Sugar Bell. What can I bring you? We have muffins. And? Is that all you have, muffins? <laughs> then I guess we'll take six muffins. Make that twelve! Twelve? What? I'm hungry! <laughs> Come on, girls. We've got to stick together. It doesn't matter what happened before. We're here now. I guess you're right. And the sooner we figure out why, the sooner we can go home. Oh. Forgive me for overhearing, but just a moment ago you were disagreeing. 
And now it sounds like you're agreeing. Mm -hmm. She's most confused. Uh -huh. Well, you had such differing opinions and cutie marks. We have differing opinions all the time, darling. <gasps> the horror. But you look like your friends. We are friends. A simple disagreement wouldn't change that. <gasps> oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm just having a hard time understanding. Different talents lead to different opinions, which lead to bitterness and misery. So, why aren't you bitter and... <laughs> Uh, because someone told oh, told you read that you read that from the book sounds like. Good. Good. It's all right. Oh. I know I'm not a very good baker. At least I'm not any better than any pony else in the village. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoy our little village. Uh oh. It's like someone's breaking. Come inside before you go. Meet me downstairs. <laughs> it's like help us. <laughs> Okay, that was weird, too. Let's all sit here and eat these muffins and act normal. I think we're being watched. What made you think that, Twilight? You think? <laughs> no, not like that. I mean, some pony here doesn't want us talking to Sugar Bell. I got an idea. But you gotta eat all them muffins, Pinky. Me? Why do I have a stronger stomach than any of us? And that filly in there might be our best chance at finding out what in the hay is going on around here. Oh, do it for Equestria, Picky. <laughs> oh, 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 no, she's green. Ugh. I can't believe you ate all our muffins, Pinkie Pie. We best go inside and get some more. Oh. Nice work, Subtle. Oh, no. Uh, I've accidentally eaten cardboard tastier than that. Oh. Hello? Sugar Bell? Thank you for coming. <laughs> Why did you want us to come down here? So no pony could see what's about to happen. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're surrounded. The princess of friendship? Do you know Princess Celestia? I love your cutie mark. Hey, hands How off. How can you be friends with different cutie marks? Don't you end up hating each other? No. Oh, look at this one. This one's great, too. I'd love to have my special talent back, even just for a day. Make something besides those disgusting muffins. So what's stopping you? Go get your cutie marks back. Daydreaming is one thing, but you mean actually having it put back on? That seems extreme. Hmm? I'm not sure Starlight would like that. She wants us all to be happy in our sameness. How do you take some pony's cutie mark anyway? The cutie unmarking is a beautiful experience. Starlight uses the staff of sameness to magically take them away and replace them with these. Bummer. But no pony should keep you from your cutie mark. It represents such an essential part of who you are. Oh, we're not kept from them. They're in the vault up in the caves. We can visit them anytime we like to remind us of the heartache of a life with special talents. Bummer. Can we visit this cave? Mm. I'm delighted you're interested in our cutie mark vault. We hope someday every pony in Equestria will make a pilgrimage here to our little village to have theirs removed too. Not and a our chance. message of purpose. This must be the reason we're here. Pilgrimage? No. Oh, helping those ponies get their cutie marks back. Mm. Oh, are you sure, Twilight? Maybe they missed them a little, but even they didn't seem all that unhappy. Then why did they want to meet us in secret? And why did they ask us not to tell Starlight who told us about the vault? Something's not right. Mm, yeah. Just through here. Hmm, it's like on second Behold. thought. <laughs> Come on. Our cutie mark vault. Hmm. I've never seen anything like it. And here is the staff of sameness. It was one of the great Mage Meadowbrook's nine enchanted items. Mm -hmm. We are incredibly fortunate to have it here. This is the tool that allows us to free ourselves from our marks. I'm curious, how did the subject of the vault come up? Oh, some ponies were telling us how much they missed their cutie. No, Pinky, Pinky, knock it off. Oops. Were they? Uh oh. 
Well, it seems you inspire all sorts of free thinking, don't you? Uh oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we certainly didn't intend to cause any disruptions to your charming little. Good. Let's just make sure of that, shall we? Mm. It's a trap! <laughs> <laughs> Weapons free! Weapons free! <laughs> oh, no! Fight back, Twilight! Fight! Mm. Uh. Mm. You shall pay for that! No! Oh, Twilight! No, no! No, it's a disaster, I tell you. I don't blame you for what you tried to do here today. You've spent your whole lives thinking those marks are a good thing. Give them back! Well, now you can spend the rest of your lives here, with us. And we'll teach you just how much better life can be without your cutie marks. I don't think so. <laughs> to be continued. Three more straight words to television. Unfortunately, it's only 30 more seconds, so yo ho. <laughs> and as always, well, I guess thank you to you hardworking people for working so hard on the show. Yo! Oh, they didn't cut to a promo. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. It's like, again, it's like, it'll only be 30 more seconds. You don't have to tell me what's going to happen in the next episode. <laughs> uh, all right, enough of that, enough of that. Yeah, so, ah, the all-powerful DHX and Hasbro Studios. Of course, it's not over yet. We're going straight to previously on My Little Pony. The communists are taking I over. To spread the magic of friendship across <laughs> So why would the Tree of Harmony want us to sit in a castle oh, and pony? Oh, no more of that. Now, no more. It's got all of Equestria. Why are our cutie marks over there? Seems like the map wants us to find out. An entire village with the same cutie mark? Welcome. This must be the most pleasant place in Equestria. Pleasant but I'm scary. I'm delighted you're interested in our cutie mark vault. It's a trap! <laughs> and they walked oh, right into it. Of your lives here without your cutie marks. No! The horror! My little pony, my little pony. <laughs> A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic. Yay. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. So there's kind of a lot to think about on this one. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess I'm so far, um, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, maybe I'm sort of right in that, you know what, it's not gonna be a super evil villain who wants to take over the world, uh, it's sort of like in the way that it's been before, um, but it's sort of not true at the same time. She does want to take over the world, but not quite exactly in the way that the other villains have wanted. She wants to make everyone, literally, the same, <laughs> and everything, it's like, uh, I don't think because she's necessarily evil, she just thinks this way. Sadly, she's very wrong. It's like, <laughs> you can take, you, you can take my, it's like, you're only going to take my cutie mark over my, my lifeless body. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, uh, what? Back already? <laughs> Man. Hey, come on. I need, I need more time than that. <laughs> Exceptionalism is a lie. Free yourself from your cutie mark. No, oh, never. Choose a quality of your special talent. Well, it's not very special. Ah, the cutie mark. Pa part two. Story hey, by. This is pretty oh, good. Written by two ever writers. Darn, sorry. It's a short uh, book. We've got to find a way out of here. I can't take much more of that voice. Did you just blow a oh, hole in the this wall. Is horrible. <laughs> there, there, Rarity. It'll be okay, Rarity. It's not so bad. Yes, it is. Look at those drapes. <laughs> I have no idea if they're tacky or not. Well, I think they're nice. So do I. <laughs> oh. oh, thank goodness. 
<laughs> Can you help us, little birdie? Quick, get Princess Celestia! Go on now. Fly away and get us help. Where do you want me to go? <laughs> oh, even tweets don't make sense anymore. Mm. Run! <laughs> oh, this door shut tighter than a summer of, of piglets and... Shoot! No. I can't even make countryisms no more. <laughs> countryisms. Maybe it'll be super fun to be all the same. No. Sort of. More pleasant than fun, I guess. No. Something odd about that staff. <laughs> I haven't studied Eastern unicorns as much as I should have. Hmm? But I'm pretty sure Meadowbrook only had eight magical items, not nine. And I don't remember any of them being a staff. Well, it looks like you'll have plenty of time to try to think about it. Oh. oh dear. <laughs> That's contradictory. Oh, they're trying to brainwash them. Oh. I've got it. I know how we can get out. <sighs> Forget it, Twilight. This door's not opening. And I'm afraid the windows are much too small for escape. But there is a third way. Of course! Eventually, the wind and weather will wear down the walls until they start to crumble. Then all we have to do is wait for a big enough hole to form and we can just walk out! It's the perfect plan! <laughs> no, it's not. I guess. Oh. We don't actually have to escape. They'll just let us out when they think we've accepted their philosophy. Oh. But they're never going to believe we switched over in just one night. There's one of us they might believe. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, me? You've been saying how great this place is since we got here. Well, that's because every pony is so nice and their village is so pretty and and. Ed. Oh, you're right. They probably would believe me. Oh, it's okay. I hate to lie to them. They've been so welcoming and friendly. Aside from locking us in here and trying to brainwash us into abandoning the things that make us special. Hmm. Okay. I'll do it. Yay! Good for you, Fluttershy. I mean, cool. No! But what do I do once I'm out? You've got to find a way to get our cutie marks back. <laughs> Is that all? Oh, good morning. I hope the room's not bugged. I <laughs> trust you had a pleasant night. This way, please. There are some friends who would like to see you. Oh, good. Friends? Really? <laughs> it was about as pleasant as being locked Gather in a room around, could be. friends! Gather We've come to ask if any of you are ready to join us. There are so many friends to be made once you realize you don't need your cutie marks or the talents that come with them. We have a welcome ceremony for new friends. The whole village joins together to build you your own cottage. Not interested. That's nice. You Ooh. may have them now, but we're going to get our cutie marks back. Y'all uh -oh. don't understand, do you? You can't force no pony to be friends. It don't work like that. Nope. Please join us. We love new friends. It's all right, every pony. This is a perfectly normal part of the equalization process for those who haven't quite seen the light yet. We'll try again tomorrow once you've had a bit more time to consider our philosophy. Hmm. Put it back in their cell. <laughs> Come on, Fluttershy. I'd like to join. <laughs> Good luck, Fluttershy. Fluttershy? Fluttershy. How could you? How could you? Giving up my cutie mark means I get to stay in this lovely village with these lovely ponies. Then I'll do it. Oh. Oh. That looked like that was so hurtful for we her. We have a new friend, every pony. Oh, goody. Oh, well, order of business. What's that? It seems some in our midst might be dissatisfied with the village life. Uh-oh. Oh, it's time to find the rebels. Unfortunately, it's all too true, my friends. Will you kindly tell us the names of those friends who so desperately miss their cutie marks that they would sneak around in the shadows talking to strangers about it? Just so we can be sure your intentions are indeed Pure. Oh, poor Fluttershy. Oh, that's such a difficult choice. Oh, cut the commercial. Ah. Oh, no, that's... Oh, 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 oh. Poor Fluttershy, it's horrible. Oh, they've given her... Oh. 
if Kiefer is such a difficult choice, it's like, do I... Oh, I can't help but think this reminds me of the choice that you have to make in Black Ops 2, where it's like, do you, you know, do you, do you betray your friends to basically stay on mission, or do you not do that, or something? It's just, oh, man, I mean, she's in that position. It's like, if, you know, if she, if she blows her cover and you know and doesn't say no i will not tell you then she's gonna blow her cover and then it's game over for everyone but if she gives if she tells them who those ponies are it's like something horrible could happen to them and oh dear it's like she's in a oh that's like the oh that's so hard that's so hard for fluttershy they really put her in a hard position i mean this is a i kind of like this um for this uh premiere because it's so far it doesn't seem to be about big action pieces and big set pieces per se you know we're not going to have a ginormous monster battle i mean we might at some point but this is a more you know <laughs> this is a, it also reminds me of a lot like star trek episodes and stuff like that where it's like you know it's like you know there's some things where you know they'll they'll land on a planet and they'll say it's like well this culture doesn't fit us but you know what that's that, that's okay this isn't them this isn't this doesn't work for us, but it works for them. Okay, but then they get in contact with people who say basically, please help us, please help us, please free us from this, you know, and everything. <laughs> and so it was. And those episodes are kind of interesting because you know they can't quote unquote shoot their way out of those situations for the most part, and I don't think they're gonna shoot their way out of this particular situation. They might at some point, but it's in a way nice to have stories where you know you can't do that. Um, but yeah, I mean this is. This is going to be, uh, I think, an interesting conclusion. Um, oh, I mean, it is interesting to see the character dramas and everything. And um, not to mention, they've done quite a few of the, the big action, quote unquote, set pieces and everything. So it might be good for them to do one that isn't so, you know, big, huge set pieces and action and stuff. So, um, uh, and I'm waiting for the show to come back on. No, <laughs> it's like, I can't figure out these commercials. <laughs> oh man so anyway um i like i mean uh i kind of like this it's kind of creepy and awkward and everything because it's like yeah this um was it darn i can't forget her i can't I forgot her name but i think glimmer something star glimmer or something it's like um she's clearly in charge here she's clearly the founder of this cult oh by the way they said that at the beginning yeah <laughs> But yeah, she clearly knows well, what's going on. And another one of these behind the scenes, which I'm not gonna... At the end of season four, we found Twilight Sparkle getting this magical, amazing new castle. One of the unexpected surprises about this castle is this map emerges in the throne room. It quickly becomes apparent that the map has some bigger plans for them. Is that new? I like it. Places that you may have heard ponies reference in past episodes that you've always wondered what's it like, we're going there this season that's it that's the place on the map the main characters on the show are sort of trying to figure out what the map is all about does that mean the map is calling us somewhere else if you have really good magic skills you can use the map to do things bum, bum, bum. <laughs> my little pony friendship is magic all new next Saturday at eleven thirty. Only next on Discovery. Eleven thirty. Oh man! Now back to Discovery <laughs> Family. Uh, oh well, that's okay, I guess. Um. Oh, Fluttershy, will she break? I don't know who they were. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know your names and faces yet. Nonsense! Obviously, these ponies must have asked you directly. Kindly point them out. Poor Fluttershy. She tried so hard. It was me. Oh. It was only me. A confession. But I only wanted it back for a little while. And you're quite certain it was only you? I just wanted to remember what it was like. And no thought to the pain you cause your friends. Such selfishness. Oh, that's harsh. I'm sorry, every pony. I never wanted to leave the village. I love all of you. What a noble sacrifice! What was I thinking? Ow. I can't believe I even considered asking for my cutie mark back. Oh. Don't worry. Fluttershy will have us out of here in no time. Didn't you see what just happened out there? Your friend has accepted our way. You will all accept our way. It's only a matter of time. It'll be okay, man. <laughs> oh. 
This guy's a barrel of laughs. <laughs>, laughs don't come in barrels. They come from inside you as your body's response to delight. <laughs> oh no. So what are we gonna do while Fluttershy's out there looking for our cutie marks? We have to stay as positive as we can. If Party Favor sees how much we really do like each other, even though we're all different, maybe we can use him to spread our message to the rest of the village. Yay! To excel is to fail. Let's just hope they don't convert any of us first. <laughs> Step one, break the speaker. Welcome! <laughs> Welcome! Welcome. Gosh, you really are the nicest ponies I've ever met. Oh. Come, all new friends stay with me until their cottage is completed. Oh dear, it's gotta keep Let's an eye you on you. Let's get you settled, and then you can enjoy all that our little village has to offer. Hey! Come on, get moving. <laughs> oh no, Dast oh, she definitely seems very dastardly to me. Oh no. <laughs> Oh dear. Get the cutie marks back. That's all you've got to do, Fluttershy. That's Just all. Sneak through the dark up to that spooky old cave with the scary magical staff and get the cutie marks back. How is she going to do that? Okay, you're doing great. The cave's got to be close now. Uh, zoom out. Excellent work, Double Diamond. Of course. But I don't understand why you wanted me to bring them here. Fluttershy is one of us now. Surely she can be trusted. This one belongs to a princess. It could be very important to our cause. But if Twilight Sparkle becomes our friend, then what do we care about this old cutie mark? I just want to keep them close until everything is settled. You may go, mm, Double Diamond. Darn it. Bummer. Oh dear. How am I ever gonna get the cutie marks back now? Oh dear. Ow! Hmm? What was that? Oh, Starlight, you clumsy fool! <laughs> Interesting. <gasps> Double interesting. Hark, a noise. Oh no. Uh, there's definitely a dastardly scheme a going on here. Today. Uh. So, do any of you have anything you'd like to say? Yeah, but it's not appropriate for children. <laughs> oh, a pity. Well, let's try this again tomorrow, shall we? No new friends today, I'm afraid. Doesn't it bother them that they're Wait, locking them in a cage? I'd like to lock them in. What? Marvelous Fluttershy! Oh, no. That's the spirit! That's the spirit. Party let's lock favor? strangers Can in a room us, until they please. I'm sorry, Starlight. I'm sorry, every pony. Oh. I've seen the error of my ways. Oh. I never want to look at my cutie mark again. Oh. It seems there's cause for celebration after all. Hooray! Hooray! They tried to break me. <laughs> they wouldn't stop talking about how different they are, and that somehow makes their friendship stronger. Such backwards thinking. Oh, but no. I didn't listen. I knew He's what they were crazy. up to, and I didn't listen. Well done, party <laughs> favor. We welcome you back with open hooves. Oh, good. Starlight, I think we might have one more friend joining us today. <gasps> Is this Out of my true? Way. I, I think so, but I just want to be sure. If I agree to leave my cutie mark in the vault, I'll really be happier? Just look around. A quality has given us more happiness than you've ever known. How do you know and that? And you wouldn't let me just live here in the village with my old cutie mark? Out of the question. A pony with a different cutie mark in our midst would destroy our entire philosophy. We are all equal here. Mm. Oh, how do you explain this? <laughs> Compare. Oh, that was, dang. I knew you couldn't be trusted. <laughs> it still worked. No, get away. Busted! You are so busted. What, what are you looking at? They're the problem, not me. <laughs> How could 
hate you. Oh. You said cutie marks were evil. You said special talents led to pain and heartache. They do, don't you see? Look at them! Then why? Why did you take ours and not give up your own? I... I had to, you fools! How could I collect your cutie marks without my magic? But the staff has all the magic we need! The staff is a piece of wood I found in the desert. It's my magic that makes all this possible. You'd all still be living your miserable lives, thinking you're better than every pony else, if it weren't for my magical abilities. I brought you friendship. I brought you equality. I created harmony! You lied to us! So what? Everything else I said is true. The only way to be happy is if we're all equal. Except for you. Uh-oh. Every pony has unique talents and gifts. And when we share them with each other, that's how we... Quiet! You can't have that cutie mark, Starlight. Either we're all equal, or none of us are. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's surrounded. Uh-oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Come on! Let's get our cutie marks back! <laughs> Charge! Come on! Let's go get our cutie marks! Let's go get our cutie marks! Our cutie marks aren't in the vault. They're in there. With her. Bummer. Cut to commercial. Ah, uh, uh, dear. <laughs> Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no promos, no promos. <laughs> so anyway, um, hmm. <laughs> that was pretty, um, interesting. <laughs> Again, that was sort of, hmm. It'll be interesting to see what uh, Starlight Glimmer's uh, angle is, what's her story and everything. It's like, hmm. I mean, hmm, part of me want to say that, yeah, she genuinely believes this, but at the same time... There must be a bigger plot here. This dastardly scheme. There's a reason why she's trying to capture, excuse me, all these uh, cutie barks and everything. And it, hmm. Oh dear. And it's like she was exposed. It's like I like that. It's like oh, it's like it's like. Well, how do you exploit this? <laughs> it's like darn missed. <laughs> oh, I thought they were gonna get her. It's like no, but they still did. You know. <laughs> right up there. I like that. I like that again. You know. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely a very different um, premiere, and I kind of like it. Um, it might be setting the overall, maybe perhaps, tone of this uh, season, I think. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh. oh, dear, oh, dear. It's like... <laughs> So it's going to be interesting, you know, just, I think so far this is sort of interesting. It's nice to have something that's a little bit different and everything, <laughs> which is sort of perhaps the whole point of this. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is just, um, must have been a really good things to say. And I'm hoping this is going to be one of those short commercials that are like 30 seconds. Because, <laughs> oh, there's just, there's just a lot to think about on this one. There's definitely a lot to think about. And, um, uh oh, and obviously we're heading, we're going to be heading into a big crisis. <laughs> You know, obviously, it's like, I'm going to hold your cutie mark hostage unless you do something. <laughs> it's like, so, this is just going to be uh, very interesting. It's going to be very interesting. And, um, it's unfortunately all I can think of to say right now. So, um, please, please come, please come back. No, 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 no such luck. <laughs> so, um, just a second. <laughs> Uh oh, we could have an issue. Uh oh, I might have issues, but we'll see. <laughs> oh dear. So anyway, um, hmm. So oh dear. So, uh, darn. I think I might have an issue with my computer, but we'll see. But anyway, nope. Not gonna watch this. Not gonna watch this. <laughs> uh. So yeah. I mean, um, sometimes this works, and sometimes it doesn't. You know, it's just there's just a lot to think about on this one because they've. They introduce some pretty uh, radical things for them for this um it's just a lot of they've introduced a lot of interesting things i mean someone who basically doesn't i mean the cutie mark is so central to everything to have someone basically say no it's not is wow talk about revolutionary whatever anyway so back to the show it's like uh, yeah i didn't think it was going to be that easy what was that oh oh 
Yeah, I didn't think that was good. Oh. Oh, that did work. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, good. Yay! <laughs> cool. Yay! Even without my cutie mark, I can tell this is beautiful! They think they can come to my village and disrupt my life? Let's see how they like spending the rest of their lives without their precious cutie marks. No! <laughs> Prepare for revving speed. They're gone. They were right over there. Where are they? Look. Hmm, target in sight. <gasps> She's headed for the pass. If she makes it into those mountains, we'll never find her. These are amazing. There's a whole network of caves up there. Your cutie marks will be gone forever. Then let's get moving, y'all. Yo, oh, come on. <laughs> Look out! Oh! We gave up everything for you because we thought you were our friend. I can't believe we have to count on these other ponies to save our cutie marks. Aww. If we hadn't come here to help them, they'd still be living under her rules. Now it's their turn to help us. Mm. And I know they can do it. Cutie! Mm, that's really interesting in itself, to be honest. Get her! Get her! Nice shot! Uh oh, this could be bad. Ooh. No. <laughs> Go! Boing. She's gonna get away! <laughs> uh, not if I have anything to say about it. These are my old skis. <laughs> what if... This is where I first met Starlight. Maybe you can reminisce another time. <laughs> She's almost to the caves. <laughs> Feel like an airdrop. <laughs> it's like, why did you leave it there for? <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> Uh oh. Yes. Yeah! Finally, I can bump like a five-bit snake herder in an Appaloosa ranch house again. When you got your countryisms back too? <laughs> okay, now we gotta go get her. <sighs> oh, my great plans have been foiled. Now you shall pay. Uh oh. Get her. Hmm. I studied that spell for years. How can you? I studied magic for years too. But what I didn't know then was that studying could only take me so far. Each of my friends has taught me something different about myself. It was their unique gifts and passions and personalities that helped bring out the magic inside of me. I never would have learned that I represent the element of magic without these five. And I certainly wouldn't be here to stop you now. Spare me your sentimental nonsense. Hmm. I gave these ponies real friendships they never could have had otherwise. How do you know that? You never even gave us a chance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. She's getting away! We'll never find her in there. We just have to hope that when she's had a chance to think it over, she realizes that you all have taught her something. It's you who have taught us something. 
We all came to this village because we were searching for something missing from our lives. We thought Starlight had given it to us, but now, now it seems it was in front of us all along. It's us. Oh. Does that mean you'll stay in the village? It's our home. I'm not going anywhere. Hmm. This is a chance for all of us to get to know each other again for the very first time. And I finally have a chance to bake something besides terrible muffins. <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. sighs> Party! <laughs> hmm. Hmm? What was that? I'll never get used to that. I think it's divine. Hmm. Does that mean the map is calling us somewhere else? I have a feeling it means our work here is done. Looks like you were right, Twilight. The map did have a reason for sending us here. We brought real friendship to these here ponies. Guess that's why you're the princess of friendship. But the map didn't send me. It sent us. Hmm. Right you're attitude. part of me, all of you. And there's no doubt you're a part of my mission to spread friendship, too. Oh, it's so nice. This feels like an ending. It doesn't have to be an ending yet, right? Because that sugar bell can be... <laughs> Maybe we can stay a little while longer. Uh-oh. Come on. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Uh-oh, Pinkie Pie's fourth wall sets is uh, speaking to her in that instance. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want to go yet. I want cupcakes. <laughs> anyway, as always, thank you to you hardworking people for working so hard on the show. Yes, and for not putting the promo for the next video at the end of the credits. <laughs> the next episode. <laughs> oh, righty then. Bummer. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think my video capture program didn't crash, but it had a malfunction, so... <clears throat> I've still got work to do, unfortunately, so... Ah, uh, dear. Uh, oh, well, that's okay, I guess. So, anyway, <laughs> sorry, just had to get that started, so we'll see if that's salvageable or not. But anyway, so... Hmm. So that was certainly an interesting but odd episode. I mean, this is definitely... Uh, I almost think focus on video worthy and everything. There's a lot to go think about because there was a lot in this one. Um... Yeah, I'm going to, unfortunately, I did not really listen to the first, you know, behind the scenes thing, but they're obviously trying to set up everything. Um, I guess I just go and listen to that, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I want to figure these things out for myself and everything. Uh, but yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> yeah, but even then there's a lot of, you know, even in that there's some interesting changes. Like they didn't put the promo for the next episode at the end of the credits like they usually do. They put it in the middle of one of the commercials. So, hmm, interesting. I don't know. I just find it interesting for some reason. The other is that, I mean, <laughs> again, it's sort of like that there's almost like the Tree of Harmony is guiding all the ponies to do things and everything. I really like that idea. I mean, there's almost a semi-religious thing there, and I kind of like that. It's like, go there, and I'm not going to even tell you why you should go there, but go there. It's like, have faith. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say there, because I could definitely go uh, crazy with that, and I would like that. I like that idea of, you know, in a way of, you know, of faith and everything like that. I mean, that to me was the only way that, that the choice in the the finale of last season made any sense for, for to me it's like it's like i almost like to say that twilight that the tree of harmony is saying to twilight it's okay choose your friends it'll be okay because otherwise that decision didn't make sense to me but anyway so uh, moving away from that um this was definitely a very unusual episode it definitely didn't have any big huge um it did have a little bit of action in it, but it was not a big, huge set piece kind of a thing. It wasn't, you know, versus Nightmare Moon or Discord or involved the Crystal Empire and everything. I mean, it did involve another little town and everything. And it sort of, in a way, is in line with all the other um, episodes. But it's definitely, at the same time, not that way. It's not the same kind of deal, if you will, that this is almost, in a way, this is more of a personal drama it's the the you know the solution is not going to ultimately be solved by you know pulling out your gun and shooting stuff or but then again none of them have really been that way but they've usually involved them blasting the bad guys of the elements of harmony or the giant magic beam thing in uh, the crystal empire 
So, but usually to, but even so, to get to those moments, they've either had to be friends or come together and do all those sort of things. And again, that's sort of um, what they did here. But interestingly, the big action at the end, I mean, the big action at the end was performed not by the main six, but it was performed by these ponies that they've helped. And again, faith. <laughs> it's like you must trust someone other than yourself. <laughs> Which probably drew, which drove Rainbow Dash crazy. She would never, in a way, she'd never want to do that. She'd want to go take care of it herself and everything. <laughs> and it's like that was what confused me at first. It's like you know they're trapped in this room. Why don't? Why doesn't Twilight just blast a hole in the wall? She is. We've seen that she has that ability to do that. So, but of course, the thing is, all their special abilities, including their magic, I think, has been taken away. So Twilight can't do magic at all. So that's the reason. I mean, that was probably my first criticism. Is that I don't understand. What does this mean? Because yeah, the cutie marks are an interesting thing because, again, he, I must admit, I've always been a little confused by cutie marks because in some ways they've not been explicitly stated, but in a way they have been. And I must admit, I have always liked the idea of the cutie mark is what makes you unique, who and who and what you are, which is often a special talent, but it's not as simple as that sometimes. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's like what you do is not necessarily who you are. <laughs> So anyway, so, um, but here again, they're explicitly stating that, um, I believe that they said that it was, you know, cutie marks, you know, contain your special abilities and your special talents and everything. And again, and that is the definite, that is the explicit definition of what a cutie mark is. It really is your special talents and everything. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was sort of, but that was interesting in itself. I mean, to get to see, you know, all that thing is, it's kind of a scary thought that someone could remove your cutie bark. It's a pretty scary thought to me because, you know, you know, in short, the short thing for me is that, you know, as I like to say, you know, the cutie bark for some, for most other people is just something they had to put on the side of their OC. But mine actually means something to me. You know, and if someone tried to take it from me, hmm. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> it's like, <"Rrr." laughs> and all that. So it's like, so yeah, that would be horrible. I mean, and it's almost in a way scarier that this is, this is her, in a way, her special talent is to take away other ponies' cutie marks. Wow. Bummer. I mean, I have to go back and look at her cutie mark and see, because her cutie mark was interesting. It might, there might be something to that one, but hmm. anyway, um, my first thoughts on it was that it's almost sort of like, hmm, almost like the the anti Twilight cutie bar because it sort of it looked like it sort of had the the star of Twilight's cutie mark, but yet there's this little thing off to the side. So I don't know. I mean, again, there's a there. I think that in itself there might be some analyze worthy things there as well. But I think that's in in a way general what this episode I feel about is that there's definitely a lot of things to stop and think about. And like again, this is a this is like a revolution. It's like cutie marks. You know, cutie marks will only cause you pain. Being, you know, you know, considering yourself special and everything is, or you know, you're better than everybody else is, um, is going to lead you to pain. And of course, in some ways, it can. I mean, obviously, you know, Twilight made a point in season four of saying, you know, I don't think I'm better than everyone else, and that's true. I mean, she's obviously special in some way, because otherwise, why is she princess and why not someone else? You know. <laughs> But that even so, that doesn't mean that she's better than any pony else. You can't say it's like, no, I'm a princess. <laughs> and yeah, the fans to get something that they kind of were complaining about. It's like no one recognizes that she's an alicorn or a princess. Everyone's like, oh, look, it's a purple pony with wings and a horn. Oh, OK. <laughs> Again, you know, it, ironically, that's not what the princesses are about. They're not about it's like, I am a princess. Obey me. <laughs> that's not what the princesses are about. In short. They're there to serve Equestria, not the other way around. And the other thing is that Twilight doesn't think that way. That's not what Twilight wants. She doesn't want ponies to bow before her and like, mm, you must, you must like, you know, it's like, you must respect me and everything. No, it's like, I'm just like a pony like everybody else. I just happen to be a princess. <laughs> That's, I think probably how Twilight thinks. But yeah, I mean, there were some interesting uh, things here as well. Uh, we did get to see some very different, interesting ponies. Like we have this one pony, his thing is balloons. <laughs> I can't help but think it's like the first thought was him. It's like, could this be like the alternate match to Pinkie Pie? <laughs> Cause like, you know, like cheese sandwich and this guy, I think might be the only two ponies that might actually survive being married to Pinkie Pie. So who knows? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. And um, there were just some interesting different ponies. I almost want to think, is this, is this the forming of like a new main six in a way? Is that perhaps their mission here is to 
in a way form a new main six something here i mean not necessarily that these characters are going to become the new main characters of the show but are they here to sort of in a way do for pony do for this village that pony what happened to ponyville is like ponyville was like let me ponyville kind of gets along and everything with i mean they always get along with everybody but it was only until the events of friendship is magic that all these friendships you know start happening and everything did this did the main six really become the main six i mean that's a kind of in a way an interesting thing that i've never that i've kind of thought about but never really thought about it's like what would what were the main six doing in ponyville how were their relationships before friendship is magic because they i think they were friends but they weren't friend friends the way that they are now but anyway it's getting off topic and everything and um so um the other thing that i find interesting about this um episode is that um yeah it's just it's just such a different episode it just really is i mean it's like i'd still like to know what is what is um starlight glimmer's motivation what is her why is, why is she why does she do this why i have a feeling we're gonna find out at some point it's like the story is in a way not over yet because i didn't intend i didn't watch most of the next time on my little pony um but obviously they're still in this town i believe in the next episode so the story here is not over it is picky pie says like is this an ending i don't want it to be an ending it's like there's cupcakes over there <laughs> And uh, I kind of like this one. I kind of do. I mean, it doesn't... I don't think this will win the prize for the best uh, premiere episode because it's setting something... It's definitely setting something up. But in a classic MLP way, it's not giving us all the answers. Those answers are going to come, but they're not going to come all at once. Like, again, like, what is this map? Where did it come from? What does it mean? What is it? The, the cutie mark there, the main six cutie marks are kind of glowing and everything now. What does all that mean? It sort of, to me, it sort of seems like this is the, this is the, um, the map <laughs> slash the tree of harmony summoning them back to Ponyville. So they, so we can tell them where to go next. It's like, <laughs> oh dear. It's like, you know, there's some, <laughs> Kind of reminds me of sort of like, uh, for some reason, it just sort of thought it like, reminds me of Peach Dragon, where at the end of the story, um, um, Elliot the Dragon, after helping um, the, the the little boy that he's been with, sorry, I, for I forgot his name, sorry, but anyway, but after helping him, it's like you know, Elliot basically says to him, it's like I gotta go and help. There's some other kid in danger. I gotta I I gotta go and help him now. So, <laughs> and I think in a way that might be the thing that the main six are going to do in this. Um, this season is that you know they're going to go around helping ponies and towns specifically or maybe they're going to stay in this one town for a while and maybe help them out and again i don't i think the short answer is the story is not over here yet it, it's not i think i think that might be the short answer is that there's definitely we're just simply not done here we're sort of done here but we're not or maybe they'll i don't know i don't know maybe maybe they'll just simply leave in the next episode and they say bye we has been fun we're gonna go on to the next town <laughs> and that'll be the end of it but again this was simply an interesting one I gotta definitely stop and go back and uh, think about this a little bit uh, and sadly i think maybe go and recapture my video again <laughs> So, uh, this was an interesting episode. I like it. And in a way, I do like this change of pace. And as always, they've um, introduced something, but we don't know exactly quite what. But I'm pretty sure either way, it's going to be pretty cool. And I like it. And it's definitely great to see MOP back. Yes! Oh. <laughs> uh. But now I've got more work to do. So, <laughs> I got to go do it. So, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this uh, Comrack video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is actually a blind reaction video. I refer to all my com all my commentary slash reaction videos as comrack videos because I just like that word. But you know, these are all blind reaction videos. It's like my other ones that I have before. A lot of them, like seasons one through three, were all unfortunately not blind because I said them all. But all of these season four and this season will be blind reaction videos unless I say otherwise. So, <laughs> so I will probably refer. To, I will almost certainly be referring to them as comrack videos and everything. So, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this uh, blind reaction video and as always thank you for commenting liking and subscribing and until next time this is blue star stay strong and pony on blue star out